Did I start early? Whatever, you know who I am. And I'm doing the last review that I have for you guys for the 2011 Summer Line sets. It's on Anakin and Sebulba's Pod Racers. Oh yeah. I like the Pod Racers. And I, I, eh, I don't know. Episode 1 I don't love because of the Pod Racers. But I was upset. Nonetheless. Okay. Ages 9 to 14. 79, 62. And it has 810 pieces. And it's 89.99 on Lego. And 94.99 at Toys R Us. So, you know, expensive. Whatever. And then we have a uh, new Watto, Sebulbo, Walls, and Obi Wan. Anakin's not new. Uh, and to be honest, I really don't see much difference in Obi, so I don't really think you need to consider him too new. I wasn't even done with the box, and I put it away. Stupid. Uh, I reviewed those two, and the Millennium Falcon's on delay till after the Super Star Destroyer. Because, you know, I want to get that one. And that's a crap load of money. The thing I like about these summer set boxes, I don't know if anyone else has noticed, but they're really reflective, and they're shiny. I just think that's cool. But, alright. Then we have our few features. There's not too many features in this set. It's more of a play model with some detail included and stuff. But I actually liked it. Fun build. Some weird techniques to build it. So I thought that was kind of cool. Um, kind of strange. Only one instruction booklet. Um, this one is divided up into five bags, you know, like the other ones. This one has five different bags. Strange, you're doing that a lot. I even learned, even the Super Star Destroyer does that. So, here's the final digital picture. The pod racers. Alright, my instruction book look, looks kind of faded, doesn't it, compared to the box? Yeah, it does. Just the orange looks faded. Alright. On to our minis. So, and i telling you right now, I don't have anything to compare these get the pod racers to because I don't have other pod racers. So, so we have Obi-Wan. Nothing real new about him. Maybe his face. I mean, just regular blue lightsaber, standard Jedi tunic, same as Qui-Gon. Um, he does have a mad face, if you want to make him have it. But I like his little grin. You know, reminds me of episode 2 where he talks to Dooku in his all smart ways. I don't think so. You know, when Dooku's like, I'm more powerful than you with my lightning stuff. Alright. Next we have a brand new character, we've never seen him before, this is Anakin's best friend, Wald. He's got a awkward orange thing, like the Geonosian fighter, so I like his shirt. And he's got a lighter green head than Anaconda Far that we saw in the Separatist shuttle. And Peach Legs. So, everyone here, beside Obi-Wan, doesn't have regular standard legs. You could argue Sebulba, but his legs are different. Next we have uh, Anakin Skywalker. Of course, you got to have him. He's his name is in the set. Of course, you're gonna get him. Uh, he's got back printing and stuff. Love the detail on his helmet. That looks awesome. I mean, amazing. And um, just for now, because I felt like it. He too has a double-sided face, so I'm gonna put on his goggles. Next, we have the infamous Watto. They did a great job on Watto. He looks excellent. Bravo. Now, this is kind of squishy, so you can sort of get his wings to fly if you want to, whatever. But he's awesome. Super detail on him. He even got a pud his pudgy belly. Cool. And then last, who's outstanding just as well... Is uh, the Doug Sebulba. Nah, he's real cool. 
His arms do move. He can roll up like a Joydica. You know. Now, here's a close-up of his face. Excellent detail and stuff. Matched everything right. And everything. You know, good. Alright, that was my doorbell ringing. So, I'm not going to answer the doorbell because I don't care. So, on to the set. We're going to start off with uh, Anakin's pod racer because his is the easiest. So first off, you got this stand here, which is cool. Keep the pod racers up. But if you slide back, you can take them off. And that's what the sand looks like. And uh, that piece is a handle. So that's what I'm going to hold it by. Now there's 27 stickers in this set. That's an amazingly large amount of stickers. But uh, whatever. I mean, you got stickers here on each one of those. Stickers here. All up on his thing and everything. But, so, we got this cool purple piece. You get three of those in the set. Two go to Bulba, one go to Anakin. Uh, the real features you can get <clears throat> is, uh, you can't even really see it, but the engine spin, just like in the movie. Um, these flaps do open. Oh, I didn't know. Oh, yeah. And they're hinged, so they kind of move, but... All the hinges, the flaps open, and he's got his ducts here that he um, can open too. And then we got these clear Technic parts, which are really cool to have. Use those for a lot of things if you don't want the pod racers, but I like the pod racers, so I'm going to keep them like this. And um, so you get, yeah, you got five clear Technic pieces, and they're really big pieces too, so. Now we're on the pod. It's got a whole mess of stickers. That whole triangle piece is just covered in stickers. And you got Anakin's windshield and um, these things. These things can move a little bit. You can hinge them however you want to. Uh, here's what. Here's some Technic stuff that keeps the pod racers together and whatnot. And uh, yeah. That's about it for Anakin's pod racer. I didn't really get it for his pod racer because, you know, if it was me, if I would have wrote the movie, he would have died in the pod racer so the bubble would have, you know, killed him. And you just slide it back in the stand and it stands great. Not so well on carpet, but they still work on carpet. So lastly, for this set, we get Sebulba's pod racer. Bit bigger. Same thing, though. Slide the sand off and uh, handle. Technic is a little different, but pretty close to the same. So, you got some stickers there, and uh, these these things, these are all hinged on a hinge joint and everything, and uh, they're pretty fun to make, actually. I enjoyed that part. Um, you got all the authentic details and stuff. Here you got all these. This is cool, actually. I like this building technique that Lego did. Uh, this piece isn't really connected to anything but this clip, but it looks real cool when you put it in there like that. You know, it looks real cool. Again, there's not too many features, but it's play model, and you could spend hours just, you know, running around your house going with your pod racers, because why not? Uh, we got back authentic detail, and those big orange pieces are cool to have. Uh, there's your other two purple rods. The energy beams and stuff. Um, stickers. Gotta love stickers. Uh, you got your cables here. Now this moves first the Boba, and I'll show you that in a little bit. Uh, Boba's pod is bigger. Now they're the same length the pod racers are, which is kind of cool. So, but they made them like real, like the way they're supposed to be. Lego just did a great job. Now the only feature on Sebulba's 
well, you can spin the uh, engines to make those move, but G -g 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 it makes that noise that you like. Kind of, you either love it or hate that noise, the G -g 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 thing. But yeah, spinny, spinny, spinny. And um, the only other feature is that he can cheat. And uh, he's got a lever in his controller. It doesn't do it, but in the movie, he's got a little lever. And uh, all these saws come up on all four of the... I, and I'm going to call them wings, sort of. And, um, you know, you got, you got those going on and stuff like that. Now, Wald is included because he was there in the pod racing thing. And, you know, Wada was there, too. I really don't know why they put Obi in this set. They should have put Qui-Gon in this set. I mean, I don't, we don't really want two Qui-Gons, but he fits better because, you know, he's dealing with Watto. He makes the deal. Oh, we should have got Anakin's mother, Shmi. Maybe Jabba the Hutt or something. Maybe that's a different set. Jabba the Hutt up in his thing. Maybe they'll make more pod racers. I mean, I don't really want any more, but... They make them all again to review. So anyway, he just takes the bulba and his weird little claw is his foot. And his claw, you first you're gonna want to bend his arms up a little bit. And then you're gonna just hinge it onto that piece I showed you before. And um Sebulba, it's really easy to put in there. That's it for Sebulba. And Anakin, everyone knows how to put minifigures into their pod racer. And that's it for Anakin. He's in there. And then they race. <laughs> so, that's pretty much it for the pod racers. Because there's, like I said, there's not many features, but you could spend hours just playing with these things. I mean, they're so cool. But the lack of features. I mean, you could sort of open those up on some bulbs, but you wouldn't want to because it's a pain in the butt to build all those things. Uh, like I said, sort of weird building, a little different. It's fun, and it might be challenging if you're younger. But anyway, great set. You know, thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for more reviews when they come out. Bye.